Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Raymond Erty, and welcome back to my Let's Play Bully. So, yeah, this episode, I'm gonna fast forward up to where the next mission starts, because Bullworth is really lopsided, and it takes a really long time to get from the school to the Blue Skies Industrial Park, because it's really, it's really right-heavy, if you know what I mean. So anyway, yeah, just gonna start this mission, and, uh, you know, just get some revenge on Mr. Burton for what he's done to Jimmy the last good long while now. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know... He goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. Okie dokie. Just gotta go to the hardware store in Bullworth Town and get some bolt cutters. So, yeah, I was, as I was saying earlier, in terms of stuff, in terms of the overall map, in the middle you have Bullworth Academy, to the left you have Old Bullworth Vale, and the carnival and nothing else really, and then to the right you not only have Bullworth Town, you also have New Coventry and Blue Skies Industrial Park. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of a, like, it's not, I think a great open world map is one that's somewhat balanced, I mean it has, that has something great to the left, great to the right, and great in the middle. Hell, even some GTA maps have failed this, actually. Um, although, I'd say the perfect maps in terms of this were GTA F uh, Vice City San Andreas 4. Why is this stuff lying and, around uh, well, and I wouldn't say GTA 5, because that's just the middle bit. There's no left or right areas in particular, like, or east and west. There's no... Uh, I was, like, even GTA 3 failed at it, because, like, Portland on in the east of Liberty City is great. Staten Island in the middle is great. Shoreside Vale is really empty, and I'm pretty sure they worked on it last, judging by, like, how small the place is and how difficult it is to navigate. And in a way, actually, that's kind of like old Bulwark Vale. Sometimes it can be difficult to navigate this area because of how big it is with not much in it compared to all the other bits like Bulworth Town and all that. And the rest Did of it, it's all them? like Bulworth Town, yeah, New Coventry, no, Blue Skies. Burton it's all come together to and it can be difficult to get running. back to We've the academy sure if like you have to get your chemistry trip. set and save and all that. Which is why actually there will be something shown off later on in this video where I decide I'll to do one of the of challenges this. and get a new you safe sure house. Because you can do ones. challenges against all the different clicks and get safe houses. Good. And uh, I'm gonna do one of them, just like how, how I did the prep challenge really early in the series, but that was actually required for the story, unlike this one I'm gonna do later. And whoa, look out! That's okay. That's the fastest I've ever gone on a skateboard in this game. So my current objective is to break all of the port pies in this park while not while avoiding being seen by Mr. Burton, the gym teacher, who was last seen. Four episodes, or actually not four episodes ago, uh, sorry, I meant two episodes ago, in the gym was burning. And he was pretty pissed off at Jimmy Hopkins because he thought he set the gym on fire. Turned out, it was actually one of the townies, uh, named Edgar, I believe. It was, I think it was, it was one of them because he had a soul patch. So now I just have to get back to Zoe to exact revenge on Mr. Burton and run away from this den, which I believe is a pit bull. I think, it, yeah, I think it's a pit bull anyway. Looks like one. Well, I've just got to keep going up the hill on the skateboard. I'm back at Zoe, and Mr. Burton's like, he's pretty pissed at Jimmy Hopkins for uh, breaking all these things. So now after he goes in, all Zoe has to do is use the bolt cutters to cut off the chain, connecting the poor potty to the ground. Jimmy gets in the lawnmower, and down the hill he goes, and Mr. Burton's going to be covered in shit. Oh, this is awful! Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, thirty dollars and no respect gained from anyone or lost from anyone. That's a first in a, in the last while. There we go. Uh, that that moment there, pushing Mr. Burton down the hill in a porta potty and getting him covered in shit, which is filled with corn. In my, to be honest, it is the funniest moment I have seen in this series since the big prank, which was also on Mr. Burton back in episode back in part seven. Which, even that was a fantastic oh, moment. This, I'd say this is even better because he's going down a hill and instead of just his foot being covered, instead of just his, one of his sandals being covered in shit, or both his sandals, it's his whole body. And it's like, he said he's had to shower for days in bleach. It'll hurt, but it'll be the only way to get all the shit off him and the smell. Like, oh my god, I'm just imagining the smell. Oh, it's brilliant, but now we actually have to go help the preppies, because uh, it looks like the preppies have been vandalized by the townies, and Jimmy has to stop them and get them evidence. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when Father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. So now I have to ride over to uh, to New Coventry to the Greaser Hangout to see if they stole the trophies. I, I doubt they did because you know the Greasers and the Preppies they were aligned under Jimmy Hopkins. But as I was I was gonna actually mention there today I actually learned that the guy Biff Taylor he's actually voiced by famous act famous theatre actor now Andrew Reynolds who first got his big break performing as James in Pokemon Live. And then he was he was impressed for kids so much that they ended up hiring him as a voice actor and director. And he uh, he actually voiced the main villain of Kirby uh, Kirby right back at you. And he voiced a number of other characters in a lot of other shows. But then he left them in 2006 to focus on Broadway. And he eventually became the lead actor in uh, in the Book of Mormon, written by Matt Stone and Trey Parker, the creators of South Park, one of my favorite shows of all time. You should all watch it, by the way. Uh, Book of Mormon's great, too. Andrew Reynolds is fantastic. It completely right, revitalized his career. All right, trophies? yeah. Obviously, the, yeah, no the way, Greasers man. did not the steal the trophies. Yeah, the townies sure did it. Of course, the townies did it. Because they're the all dropouts really? slash people who got yeah. expelled from school, and I'm pretty sure a few anymore. of them do but drugs. Out, like, I mean, they look like they do drugs, and they sound like... They Since do, I already kinda. beat you, I guess uh, I believe you. So, yeah, I better go to the warehouse in Blue Skies Industrial Park to make sure that this actually is the townies that did this. From now on, I'm just going to refer to them as the townies and not the dropouts, because the townies is actually what they got called in the final version of the game. Plus, not all of them dropped out of Bullworth Academy. Some of them were expelled. Like, uh, Zoe, for example, she was expelled, and oh, oh, she man. didn't drop out at all. She didn't want to drop out. Wait, shit, fuck the bike. I gotta get off. I gotta get away from these cops. I guess it'd be understandable they'd be here, because this part of Bulwark looks a bit shit. Uh, yeah, I'm in the warehouse. Find the town he's putting rats in the crate. Okay. So we now have 100% confirmation that the townies not only put the rats in the crates to send them to the library, 
And they set the gym on fire. And they set... Uh, and they sent Johnny Vincent to the nut house. In the last video, actually. But they're also... But they've also stolen all the trophies. All the boxing trophies that the preppies have. I mean, that's mental. So... Yeah, that's... Ah! God damn it. Townie, get out of my way. Ow, it bit me. Oh, great. This guy, yeah. Yeah, he's, these guys are jerks. Because they live in a really shit part of town. A lot of them were kicked out of the place. Uh, were kicked out unfairly. Uh, now I've just got to sneak around and take some pictures. Uh, and I have to make sure that uh, these pictures are good. Because only pictures with a green border actually count. Uh, so, I have to make sure that, uh, have to make sure that I actually get a good position, and also that they don't see me. Otherwise, uh, I am completely screwed. Uh, yeah, I don't want that to happen at all. So, yeah. Oh, God. Wait, ooh, librarian. Okay, yeah, they've definitely been the bulwarks. So now, after that, I have to travel to the docks. And get away from those two townies, because they're pretty strong, and they're pretty, uh, they're pretty aggressive. Well, nope, jump, just do an ollie over that, over that wood. And now I've just got to head over to the, just got to head over to the docks, which is just right over here. And luckily, if I fell into the water, it wouldn't be like... Okay, just to explain, Jimmy Hopkins is not like Claude or Tommy Vercetti or Tony Cipriani. He can actually swim like CJ. But he can't dive in, so he's more like Nico swimming, actually. Probably because of the water or something. I don't know. But, yeah, he can actually swim, so if he fell in the water, it wouldn't be certain death and I wouldn't fail the mission. I could just swim up back to another part of the dock and then try and get back up here again. But for now, I just have to take a picture of the stolen trophies that they're not, they're not only stole, but they've just completely destroyed. And now, back to the boxing gym in Old Bulworth Vale, which is so far from here. And it's so hard to get from one specific section to the other because there's no, like, subway system or fast travel or airport or anything like that in Bulworth. Because I think it's just too small for that. And all the buses... All the buses you can get in the game, they all go to the same place. They all go to, uh... They actually all end up at the school. And, uh... Yeah, it's it's pretty rough getting around, but... If you have a biker, or even a go-kart, which you can win from doing go-kart races in the, uh... In the carnival. Then, you'll be good. You'll, you'll be all good there, right? Yeah. Um, so, just gotta ride all the way through here, and yeah, I was looking, oh yeah, if you're wondering how I found out, like, Andrew Rannells, you know, who voiced a number of characters in Pokemon, and in Yu-Gi-Oh, he's the main villain of season three of, of that show, uh, it was because at the time I'm recording this commentary for not only the last video, but this video, and probably the next couple, I've actually beaten the game, I have fully, 100% fully recorded, uh, a finished the story and I'm just recording and editing the videos now and after and I, and I can guarantee you now by the end of this week this series will be over and it will have an epic conclusion but for now just nearly there I've gotten back to the gym to meet up with Darby Harrington and Biff Taylor about the trophies Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fun babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. 
You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that done. I've lost respect from the townies and gained a little bit from the preppies. The same amount I got from the nerds and jocks from saving their asses. But, yeah, the most notable actors, I think the three most notable actors in Bully are Andrew Reynolds, who was an uh, anime voice actor in the Book of Mormon. He's actually the voice director of Sonic X and Kirby right back at you. So if you've, you're a fan of those shows, if you've ever seen those shows or grew up with them, then he's the guy responsible for all the great voice acting. Um... And same goes with Kirby as well. Um, then another one is actually John Lavelle, I think his name is. He's the voice of Darby Harrington himself. He appeared in as, a, I think, Roy Reed in the film Selma in 2014. And then there's Matt Bush, who played Petey. He is part... He, if you've ever seen the Goldbergs, he's Andy, one of the, one of the members of the JTP. Yeah. So, yeah. Bully really did the whole GTA 4 thing, or GTA 5 thing even, using mostly unknown actors and uh, having the performances stand out more than their, their name value. So basically the opposite of what Vice City and San Andreas did with their casts. And now that the main missions are over, I'm going to do the Townies challenge just cool to get this little safe house here. Um, Alright, so this place doesn't look too great. It's got a TV, it's got tables, like it's got bed. It's, it's hey, not looks not bad, here? I mean... I'm here to yeah. beat you up and I'm gonna evict you. these townies from this talking. little shack, I think. Let's. Yeah. Get rid of all the dropouts. <laughs> yeah, oh, they missed the spot. They called them the dropouts here. Oh. Despite the fact that they didn't all drop out, so that's why they changed the name to the townies. Also, the fact that this looks more like the end of a town bit. Actually, well, not really. This is more of an industrial area. Like, to be honest, I think you could divide Bullworth up. Like, you can divide some of the... Oh, some of the Grand Theft Auto maps, I mean, well, like GTA 2, GTA 3, you can divide them up into three specific categories. Industrial, residential, and commercial. This is the industrial area. Uh, Bullworth Town is the commercial area. And Old Bullworth Vale is residential. I guess you could also call New Coventry Industrial. Uh, just to finish off the lot of the areas. And now, okay, there's two waves of these bullies. Or not bullies, these, uh, townies. Because, yeah. I was thinking of the... Of the bullies because of something... Because of Russell being the leader of the... Of the dropouts during the game's development. You've passed. You've earned the townies hangout. Yeah, and the new save location unlocked. First time in ages I've done that. And yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to finally have this save location fully unlocked. But... Uh, I don't see a chemistry set in this place, so I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna head back to Bullworth Academy just to fuel up on weapons and all that just before the episode. Like, just before the episode ends. Also, it's gonna take a while to get back. I'm gonna have to take this route all the time. And there's a tree in the middle. It's so badly laid out. Like, that's. Like, that's not right. I just gotta go through here and basically repeat. A decent section of Lola's race all the time just to get back to the dorm and up oh, I nearly got stuck on this thing but I'm fine now so that's that's solid uh, so just got to ride through here and then all I'm all the way back it's the same route I took at the end of the last episode and it might happen again and again and again whenever I have to go back from blue skies all the way to Bullworth Academy because the map well, my, uh, th well, that section isn't connected well. In fact, I think that section might have been the last one they worked on. If you want to see what happens next in the story after Jimmy helped the nerds, the jocks, the greasers, and the preppies in that order against the townies, then I'd really, really love it if you all went down right now 
and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the notification bell so you always know when I upload a brand new video. Put a comment in the comment section down below to let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, follow me on Twitch because I actually have GTA San Andreas for the PS2 now, so I can stream that in October after I have to send my PS4 away to my brother in Germany. And I'll, I'll also stream PC games, and if you ever want to be in any of them PC game streams, send me a friend request on Steam, link to Twitch and Steam are in the description below along with Bully on PlayStation Store. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of my Let's Play of BULLY!